The Cube at EMC World 2014 is brought to you by EMC. Redefine. VCE. Innovating the world's first converged infrastructure solution for private cloud computing. Brocade. Say goodbye to the status quo and hello to Brocade. Welcome back to EMC World 2014. I'm Jeff Frick, we're in theCUBE. Uh, for the first time in the history of theCUBE, we have two cubes going side by side here at v uh, EMC World. I don't know why I'm stuck on that. Maybe it's because Pat Gelsinger's over in the other cube. So we are we're delighted to be here. It's our fifth year at EMC World. It's actually where I think theCUBE first got started many moons ago. But uh, so we're rolling on, we're getting out there, extracting the signal from the noise, getting the smartest people in the room that we can find, inviting them in the cube, and talking to them, asking them the questions that you would like to ask them. And joined for this segment is uh, my partner in crime, Stu Miniman. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, you know, we talk about finding the smartest people. You know, we always love founders. So we've got uh, Varma uh, Kunaparaju, who is co-founder and CTO of Vistara, which is a SaaS company, a technology partner of EMC. Uh, we're talking about vSpecs on these solutions. So Varma, thanks so much for joining us on this segment. Thanks, thanks for having me on, the, on, the, on this show. So uh, we heard a little bit about Vistara uh, from the last segment, talking about how you can kind of orchestrate uh, some of the solutions, but uh, for those of our audience that aren't familiar, can you just give us the quick intro uh, on, on your company? Sure, Vistara is uh, fundamentally a unified operations platform, IT operations platform, bringing the entire infrastructure elements and the applications that are running in the federated infrastructure in, in a single pane of glass. And the, the premise for Vistara is to be able to kind of bring these federated infrastructure elements, whether it is private clouds, public clouds, hybrid clouds, into a single operations framework. That's what Vistara is. About. Okay, so multiple locations, and uh, you said, you said yeah, it's like public cloud. So, yes. can I, so can you give us a little bit, I mean, things like Amazon, Google, Microsoft, can I yes. deal with them? Yeah. Uh, what, what don't you do? So, <laughs> what we don't do is, you know, there are elements of um, IT that potentially uh, are not beyond IT operations, but in the IT operations framework, whether the infrastructure elements are on-premise, private clouds, or public clouds, or hybrid clouds, including the VMC and VMware framework, we bring all of that and give the complete life cycle management on, on the entire elements as well as the workload. Okay, so so when I think traditional, you know, storage, network, compute, virtualization layer, and uh, you know the cloud pieces, you guys covered all. Yes. Um, yes. How long have you guys been around, and what uh, you, you know? Can you give us some metrics as to kind of adoption, how many customers you have, how many different technology partners you work with? Absolutely. So Vistara, as a technology, we've been in development for like more than five, five to six years. The technology is completely mature. Uh, we have about thousand plus customers, hundred and fifty partners. Um, you know, the large resellers in the country who are faced with this um, big shift in IT where what used to be on-premise now is getting federated into private and public clouds and the service providers and the, and the resellers wants to kind of bring value on top of this federation. That's what, you know, Vistara brings a big differentiation. Uh, we've been uh, fundamentally architected as a SaaS platform, fundamentally architected to allow service provider and resellers and the channel to really leverage the technology. And you know, today we have marquee customers, uh, some of the very well-known uh, private and public cloud, hybrid cloud solution uh, customers are on our platform. So Varma, talk a little bit about from the customer perspective when you guys engage and in, in about their journey with the hybrid cloud, private cloud, public cloud. You know, do they kind of start down a hodgepodge of paths and then realize the uh, the management difficulties of, of these disparate systems and bring you in, or are you coming in early, helping them really design a multi-cloud strategy and then implementation yeah. to take advantage of the various uh, opportunities? There are two kinds of customers that we come across. In a large enterprise where there is an IT organization that's very mature, they may approach the solution where they have certain capacity metrics and things like that that they wanted to uh, use to figure what needs to go into private cloud and public cloud. But in the, in the mid enterprises, typically a reseller or a channel partner really measures those elements and, and, and engages in a solution oriented approach to the, to the customer 
and 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 then initially they start with provisioning and orchestration because you know you brought up a private cloud whether it's vSpecs or any other converging infrastructure they start with provisioning and orchestration which is a day one problem of how to leverage that, that infrastructure element to bring virtual machines and workloads but what happens on day 2 to day 2000 or day 3000 where the infrastructure elements now got provisioned but now someone needs to monitor manage maintain uh, automate and orchest beyond orchestration right. that's when they realize that the operations management is going to play a big role and this startup plays a major role and then they bring us in. in in this particular case in the later case typically resellers and system integrators are the people who bring in in the larger enterprises enterprise IT organizations will bring in so Sparma, you know, what, one of the big challenges when you look at solutions like this is, you know, who owns it? Um, you know, when it converge infrastructure, you know, is it storage guy or is it a virtualization admin that owns it? Um, is it a cloud architect? Um, so, you know, what, 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 what can you tell us about kind of the operational challenges and how, how are we doing about getting our arms around this as an industry? Yeah, so I think, you know, it's a great problem, right? You know, in the, in the traditional world IT, each, each of the ITs is like a separate tower. You have a network tower, you have a storage tower, you have a VMware tower, you have, you know, applications which are run by applications development team. But in this new world when the infrastructure elements are getting converged and you know, brought into, together as a solution, the solution that, that operates needs to kind of facilitate all those individual towers. So Vistara brings a very interesting equation there. You can create a role and rule-based access to all these people and make those individual towers continue to operate as their towers, but you have a single pane of glass where you get the visibility that you wanted to get, uh, and at the same time, bringing all those infrastructure elements and then maintaining those operations people so that the network guy can go and troubleshoot a network problem, but there is some correlation that took place before the event and alert went into the network guy. So that's what Vistara brings to the table, and the answer to your, your solution is it's a collaboration between these individual towers, which is bringing the federation of the converging infrastructures into the into the enterprise. So, you know, it's funny. I've been an analyst for about four years, and one of the jokes you could always make is, uh, you know, when I when I look at you know cloud or some of these solutions, you know, there's two big problems you always have to find: it's security and management. We've seen the big companies make so many acquisitions large networking company, I feel like you know every quarter they make an acquisition in this space. Uh, EMC's got a pretty broad, broad, broad portfolio. Why has this been a, such a hard problem for the industry to crack? Yeah. So the, the two fundamental issues with the, the, particularly with the federated and cloud infrastructures is, all of a sudden the workloads that are sitting inside the enterprise are no longer sitting in the enterprise. So there is a question on what this would mean to the enterprise IT security. And, and that, that is a big problem on the security side. And one of the things that uh, Vistara brings to the table, um, you know, not to kind of preach about Vistara okay. is, uh, Vistara brings the compliance story. Any IT activity that is done in the infrastructure is completely video recorded and, and, and brought to the uh, compliance team. So whether the, whether the element that is, that is running in the, in the cloud, whether it's private or public cloud, the IT guy, if he does any action on the on the infrastructure element, all that action is completely video recorded, whether it's RDP session, VNC session, SSH session, or a telnet session, is all video recorded and, and brought it to the IT compliance team. That's number one. Number two, you brought beyond security is the, the element of um, the visibility and then giving a service provider oriented for what has been done on this infrastructure so that you can, you can figure out at the end of the month or at the end of the week what has been done. All that is very important in these converging infrastructures and, and cloud, cloud adoption. Interesting. So what's next? What, is, what are we going to hear about in uh, 2015? Um, what we see is, just like the infrastructure elements are getting federated between private and public clouds and other things, we believe the service personnel, the IT personnel, the, that an enterprise really needs is not going to have all the talent that is needed in your house. So that side of the story is going to be federated. Whether the mid-enterprises leverage resellers, which are becoming more and more as system integrators, slash service providers, 
or OEMs, original equipment manufacturer like EMC, being able to go remotely deliver services into the end customer is going to be a big trend that is going to take place in 2015 because the infrastructure elements are getting complex right. and the IT to kind of manage those elements may or may not be in in house right so the the trend that we see is the service provider and the being able to deliver those services into the mid enterprises from various locations is going to be the big trend so really the delivery of the capacity the delivery of the of what that service can provide rather than the tools for the for the individual company to execute those yes right yeah. we always joke about at some point in time will GE sell jet propulsion and stop selling jet engines where they manage the engines they do everything around the engines and oh by the way the airlines just buying units of jet propulsion and that sounds kind of similar to what you're saying where the providers actually manage the infrastructure and deliver the capability yes. as a service yes so IT as a service if you look at that IT as a service has two dim two big fundamental shifts. One is the infrastructure elements, the other one is the IT personnel to manage that infrastructure. So infrastructure elements being federated is where convergent infrastructures and cloud and cloud solutions are playing a big role. In 2015 and beyond, we, we believe personally Vistara as well as the industry, you know, in my view, will shift towards how do we make the management of that IT infrastructure elements being done by external IT teams, OEMs, service providers, system integrators, resellers, participating into the ecosystem to deliver the service. Yeah, which part of the stack do you think will fall first into that model? Um, the, the, initially, it starts with the infrastructure elements itself, okay. because there is a lot of complexity in the converging infrastructures, whether it is you know, um, storage, network, you know, element portion of it. Then the second portion is the operating system and the workloads that are running on it. So those work operating system and below will be the first level of things. Then the second layer of things is the applications and the workloads that are that are going to be the yeah. second portion. So Almost like an OEM cloud, right? Yeah. So, OEM so, Amazon. So, so Pharma, <laughs> you know, you, you guys sit in an interesting place in the marketplace, you know, looking through both, both the big clouds, through the private stuff. Um, how, how are customers doing about getting their heads wrapped around, you know, how they you know, really kind of justify where they put stuff and what services they use? Yeah. So, you know, I think initially um, the enterprises immediately jump on saying that everything that is on-premise, they wanted to kind of jump on the bandwagon of, on the public cloud. They realize that some of the workloads needs to go into public cloud and they scale in, a, in, the, in the public cloud and then they realize the cost involved in public cloud and they bring some of the elements of the workload to private cloud and then create the hybrid cloud. So we see the answer to be, you know, experiment, do some stuff, and then come back. But I think that is going to change in the next year or two when there is a lot of learning that is happening on what makes sense in the private cloud, what makes sense in the public cloud, and that analysis is where the service providers, resellers, and the enterprise ITs are getting educated, and that's going to bring a right element and right workload sitting in the right places. Okay, so uh, you, you deal a lot with the resellers out there. I guess the last thing I want to ask you is, you know, what advice do you give the resellers on how to you know, help customers with this whole adoption of uh, you know, cloud convergence, you know, uh, you know, migrating to third platform, you know, really new IT practices? Great question. I think my sincere advice is, traditionally resellers have been in the hardware resale business. They've been reselling the hardware, leaving the hardware at the end customer site, maybe day one bringing up kind of a service and then walking out and then go to the next hardware, next hardware sale because there is a capex oriented things, a big, big budget, big dollars and then walking out. That needs to change in, the, in this year and, and moving forward because the, the, the more that they walk out, the end customer is not going to figure out what needs to be done. So the, my sincere advice to the resellers is engage with the customer, keep the relationship sticky, understand what the customer's um, uh, needs beyond the bringing of the hardware, and, and, and maintain that relationship with services that go beyond day one. The services that go beyond day one are management and operation services. 
be a, a trusted advisor and deliver managed services to the end customer beyond bringing up day one and infrastructure on that. That's where the recurring revenues are, that's where the margins are, that's where the industry is looking for solutions from the from the resellers. All right, well, hey Varma, I really appreciate you coming, uh, talking to Jeff and me about you know, your perspectives on the industry, giving us a little bit of insight as to what's happening on Vistara. Uh, we will be right back uh, with our next guest here from EMC World 2014.